Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Wednesday, January the 23rd, and this is a quick hit on metals. Alright, so, today, market. Eh, it was there. Um, and yesterday we had all kinds of ideas about metals. Well, let's see how we did. Well, we're going to start off with silver, silver being the strongest. And we said yesterday we had closed outside this uh, descending trend line. And uh, that it didn't look overly wonderful, that it was extended. And uh, we were wondering if it would pull back to that trend line, break it, etc. Um, obviously, we did not get back to the trend line and we did not get below it. But, but, it's still pretty darn interesting. We have a spinning top top of a possible range we are darkening in the heat map for a topping area and we're finally having some more rollover we now have the CCI down ticking we have both its stochastics finally down ticking we have the RSI going down we have a barely barely higher move on the MACD this looks prime for a secondary uh, corrective move. We could have a little bit more um, development, but this is very encouraging, and this is uh, this is weak. This is weak here at the top. So uh, all we need is a down tick. A down tick will take us into uh, or below this uh, trend line, in which case it will be failed. And uh, at the very least, we would be looking at the top of the long-term moving average bar which is still bearish, by the way, which should function to pull it, this back into itself. And that would be about uh, 30.7 at a minimum. But uh, let's say that it, uh, we get a full-on secondary uh, a down tick. A corrective move will take it down at this moment to between uh, 30.4 and, uh, and 30.3, more of the, uh, the higher end of that, uh, actually. And at that point, if we get it, it'll be time for all those other places that uh, uh, it could go to, uh, to see if those get resolved. Uh, 200, uh, a hit on the 200-day moving average, taking it to about uh, 29.75. So do I have a lot of faith in silver at this moment? Uh, sure, it could go higher or hold above this trend line or anything like that. But conversely, it also has a really good shot at finally coming down. This is supported by the other things we're going to look at real fast. GLD. And GLD did not have such a nice day as silver. No. We got a bearish engulfing today. We got a down tick today. Uh, down tick does take it down to 162.5. Not a, a huge move. But, uh, but decent, enough to make it look like we could have a failed move and test into the long-term moving average bar. If gold falls apart, it's going to put pressure on silver. This is a really bad setup for the, uh, for the bulls at this moment. We have a first day down tick on the MACD. We have the MACD histogram. I'm sorry, the MACD histogram is getting a first day down tick. The MACD itself losing some momentum. Uh, we have the stochastics, the uh, fast going down the slow losing momentum on the upside. We're going down on the RSI, going down on the CCI. This does not look, uh, this does not look great. So uh, potential here for a failure at uh, this high, which coincides with the major price consensus level uh, of this being a failure. Yep, there's good odds that this is going to be a failure. And uh, the question being, how much do the bulls freak out and sell and how much do the shorts pile on and help drive it back down? Um, really good chance at this moment. So another reason why I do believe silver is going to have some problems. And to round out tonight, GDX, the miners. This has been great. We said last night that this did not look good, that it would put pressure on the metals. Uh, as it was coming into contact with the long-term moving average bar. And what happened? Uh, rejection. Just like all these times in the past. Rejection. 
Uh, very strong, taking us to the low from just a couple of days ago. If it busts that out, then we should be going right here uh, at, what is this? This is uh, 44.18, uh, buck and a half from where we are now, roughly. And uh, bad for gold, bad for silver. And what else do we have? We have well, we have a tiny bottoming area in the heat map, just a blip. This is not uh, fully constructed or anything like that yet. But we have the uh, MACD turning down, not far away from bearish cross. We have the MACD histogram going down, the RSI going down, the CCI going down, the fast stochastic going down, the slow about to follow. And look at that, a downtick on the 14-day RSI moving average, which is totally different than gold and silver at this moment. This is a really bearish sign. And uh, so are the odds good of retesting this low? Yes. Are the odds good of retesting the bottom trend line? Yes. What uh, effect will that have on gold and silver? Should be negative. Absolutely should be negative. And we already know that silver is really extended. So we shall see, perhaps by the end of the week, uh, metals really turn. And I am looking forward to that. Um, and there it is. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.